Hi friends, this is Beth McCullough. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Des Moines, Iowa. And I do videos every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central with my sweet husband, Steve. Hi everybody. But that's not why we're here today. We are pre-recording this video for the Night Angels Global Blog Hop. And it is going to be an awesome one. You know, the mini catalog just started last week. And also celebration. Do you know what celebration is, Steve? Um, sale abrasion? Yeah. It's a big sale. It's a big sale. The happiest time of the year at Stampin' Up. So it's the combination of celebrating because you're having a sale. It is for every $50 someone spends, they get a free product they get to pick out. Wow. If they join a demos team, they get this beautiful glass oh, mat. Oh, you love that glass mat. I do. And if they have their own party, which could be just their own big order, they get additional products, 30 additional products. So it's... How it's many? $30. $30. Yeah. So it's a great time. But anyway, what I am showing you today is a combination of the mini and the SAB. This stippled roses set, I was not going to get it at first. Someone enabled me. I can't remember who. But it is absolutely beautiful. And I've had people tell me, I don't want to get it because I don't like to color. You can use your blends and color this and all the shading's done for you. This is the easiest stamp set to color. So if coloring is why you're not getting it, you need to find a new excuse. So um, let me show you what I did. I'll show you the, the card up close first. It's Calypso Coral and Smoky Slate. And then this background, you might not be able to tell, that's designer series paper. And also down here, oh, look at that. There's a gift card. Who doesn't oh, love a gift everybody card? Everybody loves in a them? gift card. Yeah. So the SEB products I used are the softly stippled 12 by 12 paper. And it has beautiful background paper. But as you can see, I use this smoky slate and coral background. There's lots of different flower paper. And also... Wow, that paper actually matches the roses. Yeah. Actually, there's background paper and there's flowered paper. It's just, it's really cute. You're going to want to get this. Another product I used from Celebration is these gems. Let me pick them up here. They are called the Opaque Faceted Gems. And I believe the colors are Calypso Coral, Pecan Pie, and Pool Party. And just beautiful. And I used them on this card. And we'll see if I get them back in the right order. I put everything in the order. I'm going to show it to you, except in the beginning. Okay, so here's our card. Now, when I make a card, the second time it always gets better, right? Right. You think, you know, so after well, I made practice, this, right? I thought this looked kind of plain. So what did I have that would make it look better? Well, look at this. Show me, tell me when we can see it well, on the camera. You can see it right there. Okay. That's perfect. So I used the softly sophisticated 3D embossing folder. Now this comes as a hundred dollar reward um, with the stamp set, and it's it's very pretty. And I used um, the embossing folder a ton already. So doesn't that look better instead of the plane having the embossed? I I just thought it was really nice. So and there is a graphic, Steve, for this. If you go to the banners, this Calypso coral is four and a quarter across and seven and a half down and then I scored it at five and a half and then I folded it up as you can see it's not embossed as much under the pocket but there's a gift card there and no one will see it so I folded it up and put it in the embossing folder and I ran it through like this that okay. makes sense because then you had the same texture on all the sides right. that were showing. I tried it to be fair <laughs> I tried it just doing this part and I just messed it up and I thought, you know, I just want the whole thing. So I did it a second time. That's one of the things about the cards is sometimes we show you after we've worked with it a few times. Oh no, all the cards that you do are perfect they the just first time. turn out perfect yeah. the first time? Hmm. Yeah, magically. Yeah. He is fooled. <laughs> okay, 
So next we have Smoky Slate cardstock. This is three and a quarter by eight inches, scored at four inches. So it's a little mini card. So we're just going to glue this to the center. Uh-oh, the glue. Oh, I think it's gonna work okay. It is going to the center. <sighs> So Steve and I, when you watch this video, we will be in a warm place. We live in Iowa and... We're about to have a snowstorm in Iowa. What's today's date? Today would be the 7th of January and tomorrow morning we're leaving and the snow is starting within a couple hours when we leave and it's going to snow here for 24 hours. I'm sorry people in Iowa. But we're sort of glad we're yeah, leaving, we're, we aren't are we? We are abandoning you, basically. Yeah, and and we're kind of happy about it. Okay, so did you do the graphic for that? Look at that, did. you did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the inside piece. This is a piece, normally I do quarters. I know they're easier for everyone. But on this one, I did eights. If you like quarters better, just do that. So this inside, um, piece right here of smoky slate is three and a quarter by four so i made the white piece three and an eighth across and three and seven eighths like i said you could go down further you could just do it three inches by three and three fourths if you like that better now i'm going to go ahead and stamp this in this beautiful stamp set there is happy mother's day best birthday wishes congratulations and sending thanks and on the original card I did happy Mother's Day can you think of anyone Steve that I would be wanting to give a Mother's Day card to this year um yes maybe our daughter-in-law we are gonna have our first grandchild and I don't know if I've said anything on the night angels global video hop she's a little we excited are a tad bit excited yeah. okay I so. am too so we are having a grandson and he's due in the beginning of April and we are just thrilled. Yep. So this might be for my daughter-in-law. Okay, so inside on this one, I'm gonna stamp something different. I got out the Calypso Coral ink. And one thing I've found with this new glass mat that you can get free during celebration is I don't have to use my cushion mat, it just, gives it a little bit of cushion which is super nice yeah the the glass mat is actually on little rubber legs so it's got a little give to it yeah. so that is going to go inside the card brianne might be upset that her card wasn't embossed though what do you think or maybe she won't know the difference and that's okay well you're not giving her the card you're making now well, this one I just put best birthday wishes. Oh, the other right. one says happy Mother's Day. Well, you know, we've been known to tear out the sentiment layer before <laughs> and put a new one in. My friend Jean, who helps me a lot, does not like it when I rip the cards apart. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the front. We'll come back and do the gift card flap at the end, okay? So next we're going to grab this piece of designer series paper it has the flowers on the back and it is the same size as the white paper so it's three and an eighth by three and seven eighths and you know it's kind of a shame to cover up these pretty flowers uh, you but know i always feel so bad for the side that gets covered up do you think we should have you know when stampin up first came up with this i have been a demonstrator since 2003 and our dsp I don't know if it was called DSP. It was one-sided. Mm -hmm. So, um, We just have to promise to make something else out of that flower yes, side. Yes, I like the options. Okay, another thing that I like about this stamp set, can you see how gorgeous this is? It stamps perfectly, and it is just lovely. So to give it more color, I got out my blender pen blender pens have been around forever and you can do as much or as little as you want with this i probably um should put on my glasses so i can see i only wear glasses to read the bible and to um 
to do coloring. Do you see this? I actually stamped, I don't know, an hour ago. And, um, you know, I could totally color in this whole thing. It just grabs the ink and spreads it around, which makes it really pretty. Like I said, you could do a little bit or you could do a lot. It depends on what you think looks good. And even on the leaves, you could do some of that. Does that show up on the camera, Steve? Can you see it? Does. it? Yeah, I can see you filling it in. Do you feel like you should come over here and play? Is that, does that look like fun? It, it looks very, very relaxing and calming. It's yeah, like I mean, the good thing release. is, it's like you can't, you can't color out of the line. It doesn't even matter where you go. So it's kind of a... Yeah, because you're just making the accents. Right. And on this one, I did a bunch. Should I do less this time? Or? Well, you need to go to the top and the bottom now. Like here and here. Yeah, I didn't do too much with the leaves. I mean, I could. Maybe I'll just go around the edges of the leaves. I wanted the flowers to stick out more. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we had leaves and flowers since everything was stamped the same color. Yeah. It's um, it's an artsy thing, Steve. But I truly could spend, you know, sit and watch TV and color this in and really enjoy it because there's not, not a right and wrong. So, yeah. You could do a lot more. I did a lot more last time. I kind of want to show you the difference. I also stamped the smaller flower in the set. And both of these have die cuts that cut them out. This way you can see if you like a little shading or a lot. You know, typically a guy would think if a little's good, then a lot must be better. More is better, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. But is that a true statement? No, it is not always a true statement. There are certain things like uh, the number of screws that you're putting into something that ultimately later you have to unscrew again is, uh, you know, enough is enough. Don't put any more than you have to. Yeah. So I, you know, I am going to put this on upside down. This leaf is a little, and flower is a little bit different than that. So you could stamp this a second time and fussy cut it, but I'm a little bit of a lazy stamper. So I'm just going to put this over the top because I think it looks good. And no one's going to know the difference. If that was what was under there or not. Well, that's What do you think of that, Steve? I like it. And it gives it, it, gives it depth. Okay, I want to show you quick these, this leaf that I'm doing. It has several different leaves. If you look at the dies, there's one, two, three, four, five dies that have the little dots. So when you do it, all the dots are impressed on the leaf. They are gorgeous. I just... Really, I ran really. some of those for the big shot and uh, got to poke them out. I know, you're and then I got very perplexed because the paper was actually embedded in the dye. And I'm like, how do I get that out of there? And, uh, how did you get it out? Well, I figured out I could get the stem. And once I got the stem, I gently pulled the stem and it, the rest of it came out. And then I thought, you know, what's going to happen is the stem's going to break off and I'm going to have to do this whole thing over again. But luckily the paper was strong enough. Okay, I'm going to attach these leaves not very strongly. I just put one glue dot on the leaf. I'm going to put this here the way I want it and just press it down. I kind of like the leaves to have movement. Just make sure you don't go off the top or the side of the card. And I'm going to take another glue dot. You can, of course, do much more adhering if that's what you would rather do. But I kind of, I kind of like it this way. We're going to put one glue dot here. 
you know, it's funny. People are so different. Some are over adhesivers and some are under adhesivers. And, you know, I, it kind of depends on, I want this to go over the edge because I think it looks pretty doing that. I tend to be a little bit of both. Now on this card, I glued it flat down. Should I pop this up or is that, that may be too thick to mail. I think because I have one, two, three, I think I better do it flat. But if you were doing this look on a normal card, I think we could pop it up. But we're gonna do it flat. And I'm just gonna put the adhesive in the middle because I don't want the adhesive to be on the edges that are hanging over the edges. Oh, you know, I forgot to do one other thing. Along with doing the blender pen, I also did the Wink of Stella on the other card. Now, you haven't seen me do much with Wink of Stella, have you, Steve? I don't know if I remember what it is. Oh, you know, I grabbed I grabbed the wrong one. The Wink of Stella, that, we used to have that one. This one is clear. So, you can just... Um, Again, go wherever you want. And what it does is adds a little sparkle. And it kind of does its own blender pen thing. I don't know if you can, can you see the sparkle on this? A little bit. So it, it looks more sparkly when it dries. And you can put on a lot or a little bit of that. It's just a fun thing to do. And then again, I took these celebration dies. I used the bigger part. And a lot of times I like to do... You're talking about the embellishments? I'm talking, yeah, I'm talking about the opaque faceted, faceted gems. gems. These are free with a $50 order. And I think look beautiful with this card. You know, this time I'm gonna put a smaller one on here too. Kind of put these two together. I always kind of like to make a triangle. And why three? It's an artsy thing. Uh, odd numbers look more appealing to the eye. Okay. So when you look at someone's mantle, this, however, would be a mantle not covered in TVs. Mm. Well, so then. when our when our mantle used to be pretty, I would put three or five of something on there. Can you please tell our friends what's on our mantle now? What the front, we have a, a built-in wall. Our house is very old. It, well, I guess so other So it's an people, entertainment wall with built-in bookcases. It's 40 years old. Old oak, they look beautiful. And there's four TVs there now because we have NFL Football Sunday. And there's we have the Sunday ticket so we can watch all the games. And um, we just turn on all the TVs so, and it's great. But there's four TVs. What you're telling me is there should be three TVs. Four? Wait, it needs to be an odd number. There should be five TVs. Oh, great. So Now, if so, we're going to be artsy. In so it. my Bible study friend came over to help me decorate for Christmas. And we used to do swags and snowmen. And it really cute on the whole mantle. And, and now we have this little rope. That can we go still this did, far. You know, still did your swag. And, it just had to be. It had to be it, shorter. It had to be very tidy. Compacted. To fit in between the TVs and. Another friend was over the other day, and she's like, oh, "Where did your fireplace go?" It's yes, behind your TV. even the fire. Wouldn't you want to? We can to move the TV open. to make a fire. It's, it's I not, think we should. It's not a permanent fixture. We shouldn't not fight about the TVs. The friends did not come. <laughs> you guys, I I don't care about his TVs. I just think it's funny. Okay. TVs so. are so cheap now, anyway. But we have my son and all of his friends. We all play fantasy football. Okay. We all so. get together, chili and and. Crackers and okay. watch. We're not supposed to have train wrecks when we're on the global video <laughs> angel hop. Okay, so this I need to justify myself. <laughs> this bottom flap. Use any circle punch you have, and I'm just gonna punch a little bit out of here so that I can put a gift card, and I'm gonna center it side to side, and it really doesn't matter how much you punch out. 
oh, you know but what I wanted to do? I keep going off. I have written down what to do, and um, I'm not following it. So next is the smoky slates. Wait, Steve, you I'm wanted not... to put that on first. So I wanted that to put you, that on first, but that's okay. It. I will. I will do the. Um, I will do the circle punch again. I just got. I was trying to get off. I got the you for much. Thing. See, this is why I join her. Actually, I join her to click the right measurements but i also take pride in the fact that i can get her to, to extemporaneously do, talk do, do about you distract things. me well no i you know sometimes look at, it's look good at the to... pretty black and white flowers on the back of this calypso coral background that would be really pretty to color too okay and what is this piece this is the dsp it's the softly stippled again mm -hmm. and it's three and seven eighths by one and five eighths so Did I layers. put that on your list? Yep, it's, I got it. Yay. Okay. So, if I were to do this again, I'm just going to look through the bottom of the circle. And it doesn't matter. I can make it bigger. I can, I, I will make it a little mm. bit bigger. See it, it? This is, I did this just to prove to you. It doesn't matter. Do you need my help? Ah! How big of a circle you punch. I was worried about your grip strength there. <laughs> now we're going to take a little tear and tape. It's got to be strong so that gift card can come in, in and out. And put it all the way to the edge so you have room for the gift card. We do have a daughter with a birthday coming up. She... She'd like the flowers. She would like a gift card. <laughs> she would like the gift card. She would also like the flower card. So... I'm going to take both strips of the tear and tape backing off and it's going up over that card but I think it looks super cute. I like the layers. Yes. So we are going to steal the mommy to be Mother's Day gift card and slip it in here. Just for demonstration purposes, Brianne. Don't worry. And then fold it down. Okay. What do you think? Number one with no embossing folder, or number two, with the embossing folder. Definitely the embossing folder. Yeah, and then what do you think about the flowers? This one is a lot more blender penned in, and this one has a lot less. You know, I, I like both of them. Okay, so it really doesn't matter. Well, if you look below, there is a list of all my global night angel friends and their videos. And I encourage you to go to each of their videos and leave comments with everyone. And I hope you'll mark your calendar and come back on the 20th of every month. And we will have a great variety of cards to show you. And you'll see a lot of celebration and mini catalog this month. I hope you have a blessed month. And we'll see you next month on the 20th. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.